What's up, everybody? Welcome. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Welcome to a kind of different video. We are gonna open. Well, actually, I already opened, but I'm gonna show it in the video. I've opened packages that I've got sent by Acer. This is a sponsor video, nonetheless. The products that I got were really neat, so I figured why not do it all along. In those two packages that I've received, holy hell, those have been big. In the two packages that I've received, there were two products from New Predator line. So I'm not going to go fully into detail of what these things are actually capable of. I'm going to link that down below in the description in case any one of you is interested. This video will pretty much be my impressions of these two things. I've, all <laughs> I've already had a pleasure to be working at the Acer booth in Berlin for the EFA 2015, so I'm kind of into these things already now that's a whole different story though if you have them at home because at the at the ace booth like you have three monitors right next to each other so they seem they seem not as impressive as if you just put your regular monitor out the window and just place that one on your desk it's freaking insane i'm gonna tell you that obviously the design is just beautiful overall uh the whole predator line is really greatly designed but there's nothing that we can take away from that unfortunately unboxing and running those will not give you the luck in the case opening you will still get loose the most important info is aside so let's get straight on to it it is huge that monitor it's impressively huge 144 hertz 2560 to 1080 resolution 21 to 9 aspect ratio it's ultra wide it's perfectly adjustable it has g-sync super smooth no screen tearing therefore Overall insanity package. I do not know how to actually title this thing when it's standing on your desk. Playing with it is kind of weird experience. You really got to get used to having another resolution. You really got to get used to just having that huge thing in front of you. I guess for Counter-Strike, Playing Counter-Strike on it could be or is definitely weird, especially when you're used to having a smaller monitor. But for other games, I guess this thing is the best experience kind of that you can get right now. That's pretty much about that monitor. That monitor is just impressive. I think that's the best word to sum up that monitor. It's impressive as hell. It's got everything you want. It's super huge. It's just a thing. It's just a thing of, of beauty. Let's leave it like that. The laptop impressions, kind of the same actually. I've had the performance test already at IFA because I was able to stream from there. A few people actually saw that. It was a short stream, but still, I had over 200 FPS while playing Counter-Strike and streaming from that one laptop. It's got so many different features in it. I didn't even get around to test all of them. The most important or the most cool thing is actually that you have that side port where you can just like inject different things. And one of them is like a cooler. So that means that before that, I had a laptop that got really heated up when recording Counter-Strike, all that kind of stuff. So that laptop will probably do the job just perfectly now. That's pretty much all for this video. I'm gonna leave it like that. It's just the first impressions. Overall, both of these products have impressed me a lot. Hope you enjoyed that kind of video. And uh, with that being said, have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya. Whoa! Test bestanden, ja? <laughs> Bleib bei mir. <laughs>